Imagine this. You're trudging through knee-deep snow. The wind cuts through your clothes like knives. Your breath freezes in the air. And then you hear it, a low growl behind you. You turn slowly and find yourself face to face with a saber-toothed cat. Its fangs, nearly a foot long, gleam in the cold light. Welcome to the Ice Age, a time when survival wasn't just about fighting the cold. It was about sharing the land with some of the most dangerous animals that ever lived. Today, we're going back 20,000 years to the last glacial maximum, the harshest part of the last Ice Age. We'll meet the deadly predators and massive plant eaters that ruled this frozen world. And we'll ask one question. Could you, a modern human, survive? Let's find out. But before we meet the animals, we need to understand the world they lived in. Picture North America and Europe covered by ice sheets taller than skyscrapers. Temperatures averaged 10 degrees Fahrenheit colder than today, but could drop much lower during winter. Summers were short and cool. Winters were long, dark and brutally cold. But not everything was frozen. Between the ice sheets and around them were open landscapes called Mammoth Steppe, huge grasslands that fed the giant plant eaters of the time. These areas had pine forests, shrubs and plenty of low growing plants. The Ice Age wasn't just cold, it was also very dry. Water was often frozen and hard to find, and with so much water locked in ice, sea levels were about 400 feet lower than today. This created land bridges, like the one between Alaska and Russia, that allowed both animals and humans to cross. This harsh world created tough animals, bigger and more dangerous than most of their modern relatives. The Ice Age had predators that would make our modern lions and wolves look small, Let's start with probably the most famous, the saber-toothed cat. Weighing up to 750 pounds, Smilodon was built like a wrestler. Muscular shoulders and powerful front legs allowed it to tackle prey twice its size. Its most famous features were those giant canine teeth, up to 11 inches long. But here's the surprising part, Smilodon wasn't a chase predator. Those famous teeth were actually quite fragile and could break if they hit bone. Instead, this cat would ambush its prey, using its powerful body to pin down large animals before delivering a precise killing bite to the throat. If you encountered one, your best chance would be to appear large, make loud noises and back away slowly. Running would trigger its chase instinct and you can't outrun a saber tooth. Climbing might help, as these heavy cats weren't great climbers like modern leopards. Next, we got the dire wolf. Forget what you've seen on TV shows. Real dire wolves were like modern wolves on steroids, 25% larger, with a crushing bite force about twice as strong as any living wolf. Dire wolves hunted in packs of up to 30, surrounding large prey and attacking from all sides. Their jaws could crush bone, allowing them to consume almost the entire carcass. If you encountered them, a pack would be nearly impossible to fight off. Your only chance would be fire. All wolves fear fire, or finding shelter in a cave with a narrow entrance, or up in a tree. Moving on to the short-faced bear. This might be the scariest predator of the Ice Age. Standing 12 feet tall on its hind legs and weighing over 2,000 pounds, the short-faced bear was the largest land predator in North America. Even worse, it could run at speeds up to 40 miles per hour, making it both massive and fast. Its long legs allowed it to cover huge territories searching for food. If you encountered one, there's no outrunning it and no fighting it. Your only hope would be to reach a shelter like a cave with a small entrance or to drop food as a distraction while you escape. Although this probably would only work in cartoons, then we got the cave lions. About 25% larger than modern African lions, the cave lion was the top predator across Europe and Asia. Despite the name, they didn't actually live in caves. That's just where their fossils are often found. 
Cave lions likely hunted in groups like modern lions, taking down large Ice Age animals that no single predator could handle alone. Playing dead wouldn't work. You'd just become an easy meal. Like with other big cats, backing away slowly while maintaining eye contact might be your best bet. And of course, we got giant hyenas, also known as cave hyenas. These weren't scavengers like many modern hyenas. They were active hunters larger than today's biggest hyenas. Their jaws could crush mammoth bones and they competed directly with humans for cave shelters. If you encountered them, cave hyenas probably feared fire and could be driven off with torches and loud noises. But a hungry pack would be extremely dangerous. And don't think plant eaters were safe to be around. The herbivores of the Ice Age were giants with deadly defenses. Standing 13 feet tall at the shoulder with tusks up to 15 feet long, mammoths were the icons of the Ice Age. Their tusks weren't just for show, they used them to dig for plants under snow and to fight off predators. Despite their plant diet, mammoths would charge threats to protect their calves. Their weight, up to six tons, could easily crush a human. If you encountered one, keep your distance, especially from mothers with calves. Early humans hunted mammoths, but only in well-organized groups using specialized techniques and weapons. Covered in thick fur with a massive horn up to three feet long, the woolly rhino was built like a tank. They had poor eyesight but excellent smell and hearing. Like modern rhinos, they were likely quick to charge at threats, able to reach speeds of 30 miles per hour, despite weighing over 4,000 pounds. If you encountered one, climb something quickly or use the rhino's poor eyesight to your advantage by hiding downwind. Early humans rarely hunted these dangerous animals. Forget the slow tree sloths of today. Ground sloths stood up to 20 feet tall on their hind legs and had huge claws designed for pulling down tree branches. These claws also made excellent defense weapons. A sloth standing on its back legs, swinging those arms, could keep even a saber-toothed cat at bay, stay out of reach of those powerful front limbs. Ground sloths were likely slow to anger but dangerous when threatened. The largest deer that ever lived Irish elk had antlers spanning up to 12 feet wide. During mating season, males would be extremely aggressive, using these massive antlers to fight rivals. During mating season, stay far away from males. During other times, they would likely run away like modern deer unless cornered. So how did Ice Age humans survive among these creatures? They developed specific strategies. Ice Age shelters weren't just built for warmth. They needed to keep predators out. Evidence shows humans used cave entrances that were high off the ground to prevent easy access, narrow enough to keep large predators out and often protected with thorn barriers. When caves weren't available, they built shelters using mammoth bones and tusks covered with hides, structures too strong for most predators to break through. Ice Age humans rarely hunted alone. They used group tactics and specialized weapons, spear throwers called atlatls that could launch spears with enough force to penetrate thick hides, carefully planned ambushes to minimize risk and traps, and cliff drop-offs to overcome their physical disadvantages. For defense, humans kept fires burning day and night. Many predators fear fire, making it the perfect defense. Humans also carried burning branches as torches when traveling. Humans often scavenged kills from other predators, but this was incredibly dangerous. They would use smoke and fire to drive predators away from fresh kills. Evidence shows humans sometimes deliberately stored extra meat in lakes or streams, not just to preserve it, but to hide the smell from predators who might be attracted to their camps. Ice Age humans survived through their ingenuity, creating specialized tools for this harsh world. The spear was the primary weapon, but Ice Age spears were sophisticated. Stone spear points were shaped to create massive bleeding in prey animals. Spear throwers doubled the force and distance of throws, and some groups even developed multi-barbed points 
that would stay lodged in prey. For smaller game, they used bolus, connected weights thrown to entangle animals' legs. Against predators, humans created noisemakers to scare away predatory animals, specially designed barricades for nighttime camp protection and portable fire carriers to always have flame available. Everything from a kill was used. Hides became clothing, shelter covers, and water containers. Bones became tools, weapons, and building materials. Sinew became thread and bowstring. Fat became fuel for lamps and fire starters. The most successful human groups weren't necessarily the strongest. They were the ones who could most efficiently use every part of the animals they hunted. Cave art also tells us a lot about how Ice Age humans viewed animals. They didn't just see them as food or threats. Many paintings show a deep respect. Archaeological evidence shows complex relationships. Some animals were hunted primarily for their hides or bones, not just meat. Certain animal parts were used in rituals and possibly religious ceremonies. Some burials included animal remains, suggesting spiritual connections. We've found evidence that Ice Age humans may have started the process of dog domestication, taming wolves to help with hunting and defense against other predators. These early dogs would have been invaluable for warning of approaching predators. The humans who survived the Ice Age weren't just surviving, they were adapting, learning and passing knowledge through generations. Their ability to observe animal behavior and learn from it was perhaps their greatest survival tool. So, let's get to the answer to the question, could you survive the Ice Age? The honest answer is, probably not, at least not alone. Modern humans lack the physical conditioning, survival knowledge, and specialized skills that Ice Age people developed over generations. The average Ice Age human could track animals across vast distances, create fire without modern tools, make effective weapons from scratch, and predict weather changes from natural signs. Most importantly, they understood the animals around them, which ones to avoid completely, which ones to hunt only in groups, and how to interpret animal behavior to stay safe. The lesson of the Ice Age isn't about physical strength. It's about human adaptability and cooperation. Humans weren't the strongest, fastest, or most physically imposing species, but they were the most adaptable and the best at working together. In the deadly game of Ice Age survival, Brains, cooperation and adaptability beat brawn every time. That's how our ancestors survived, and why we're here to tell their story. So, next time you complain about the cold, remember, it could be worse. You could be trying to build a fire while a short-faced bear sniffs around outside your shelter.